Hello everyone, so welcome back. Let's set up our Windows machine. So just hit the new button and then type the name Windows 7. Yeah, so that's our Windows PC. And then type Microsoft Windows version Windows 7. I'm using 64 bit so this one. Let's see. It's everything here. The top box is really awesome. So Windows 7 64 bit. Next. So recommended this two gig RAM. So just go next. And then next. Like I said, create. And then virtual box this image. Next. Dynamic. Alright. So my memory to so I'll give you 50 gig. Alright. Create. Let's just wait for it. So it's done creating. So make sure you click on it and come to just click on it come to next uh, settings and the same thing just come to storage like i said you can come to system if you want to change the ram the processor and everything so storage and make sure you delete this empty file remove it remove and let's add up so you just click on this one and choose add choose this image so it's on your desktop you can come Windows 7, so we'll click on it and create. Alright, then let's start it. Then, so I can minimize this and make this one maximize. Alright. So Windows is starting, just wait for it. Cool. So just come, so the language is English, you can set up your language that you want. Time in current moment, United States, keyboard, US, okay. Next. So just click on install now. All right, so just choose accept next and just come to custom custom and then choose the disk next and then just wait for it so it will copy the files and then start expanding windows files and then it will install the features install updates and then complete the installation all right just wait for it be patient So the installation is about to finish. Sure. So the setup will continue after restarting your computer. So just wait for the PC to restart.
right so it has boot on so type a user for this thing so i just type ktech so you can see ktech and then next you type a password um, and i retype the password and next put that key if you don't have it just keep all right so choose the first one use recommended settings click on it and then next and it should be a home network not a public network all right unless you are connected to a public network all right waiting all right so windows is finalizing your settings You can see it has come. These are windows. I'll show you how to make a full screen. Right. So just open up the file manager here, click on it, and come to computer and click on it. So here you can see this is a CD drive, there's nothing there. Um, so all you need to do is come to devices and then insert case addition, just like we did on Kali. All right. So I've inserted it right. So you need, so it should appear here. So all you need to do is right click here and then shoot. click on refresh. All right, it should turn very soon. Okay, so anytime you see virtual box guest additions. So the next thing is to double click on it to open it up. And then there's virtual box windows addition, this one. So just double click on it to install. Wait for it. All right, choose yes, and then next, next, install. All right. So install this one too. So this one just press, just click on install and then wait for it. All right, so you have to reboot your system before it will come. So just reboot. Finish and let it reboot. Cool. Close. All right. Just wait. I need to come on. Close up this message. All right. Hmm. Cool. So now let's just type our password and log in. And then after logging in, we should come as full screen. So, see? So the full screen mode should come automatically. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right. So basically, that's how it is. We are done.
So the same thing, if you want to make a full screen, you can just press the right control key and the F key on the keyboard and it will come full screen. And if you want to remove it, you just come down here and then select this and it will come back to the way it is. All right. So up next, we'll talk about basic Linus commands and I'm going to use the Kali Linux to do that. All right. See you in the next video.